Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's do a quick review of the second law of thermodynamics. Now the second law of thermodynamics can be expressed in three different ways and it's better to illustrate it graphically. But essentially this is how we can look at the second law of thermodynamics. It says that a thermodynamic process cannot be 100% efficient, which means it is not possible to have heat going to a heat engine and convert 100% of that heat into work and have no heat expelled to the atmosphere. In other words, all the heat would be removed out of the gas so that there's no heat left. In other words, you would have the exhaust gas to be at zero degrees Kelvin, absolute zero. And of course, it is impossible to get anything down to absolute zero, so therefore you cannot have a heat engine that is 100% efficient. A second way of look at it, maybe we should just say, this is simply not possible. All right, another way of looking at the second law of thermodynamics is that there's no spontaneous heat flow from cold to hot. You will never see water flow uphill. Naturally, it has to be pumped uphill. In the very same way, you'll never see heat flowing to, from where it's cold to where it's hot. That will never happen if there's no work input, no energy input. This cannot happen. You, it's like watching water flow uphill. It's not going to happen, so this is impossible. The third way to look at the second law of thermodynamics is that there's no such thing as a perpetual motion machine. You cannot have heat coming from a hot reservoir, convert it completely into work, and then take that work, convert it back into heat, and put it back into hot reservoir without any laws of energy. That is required to have a perpetual motion machine, to have the energy drive the work and then the work drive the energy reservoir and just continues like that with no laws of energy. That can never happen. And even though we know that this is impossible, there's been a lot of imposters that have come up with some sort of device that supposedly just kept on going and going and going forever without any input of energy. We know that's simply impossible. Whenever that is the case, something is going on that we're not, that we're not seeing behind the scenes or some energy input to the system that is being hidden to the viewer. Otherwise, you cannot have a perpetual motion machine. So again, that is not possible. So this is the best way to look at the second law of thermodynamics. No such thing as having a free lunch. And that is how it's done.